Utak Negosyo. So in this video, I'm going to share my estimate on how much is the starting capital for a construction supply business. So it is an estimate based on uh, computation using the uh, price list of our suppliers. No? So you multiply sa mga units na dapat na mag maging beginning inventory mo no? as a startup construction supply business. So maraming nagbibigay ng uh, kanilang opinion on how much is the startup capital for a construction supply business but uh, so far wala akong nakita na nagbigay ng computation no? sa kung magkano talaga no? those were just based on their opinions no? so let's try to calculate or let's try to see by using the price list from our suppliers and yung ideal na stocks na dapat meron ka sa yung tindahan so if you are interested, watch this video. Start tayo sa basic. No? So basic is ang cemento. Uh, sa supplier natin, ang uh, price niyan is 220 per bag. So at least dapat meron kang 500 bags. So that is worth 110,000 pesos. And then yung mga deformed bars or kabilia. Yung 12 mm, 200 pesos. 10 mm is 145. 9 mm is 90. And then 8 mm is 85. So, I multiply mo at least. Ideal is meron kang 200 lengths kada size. So, total niyan is 214,000 pesos. So, ang next natin ay ang mga plywood. So, dapat meron kang ordinary plywood at saka marine plywood. So, different sizes yan. Merong 3 fourth, 1 half, and 1 fourth, at saka 3 16 inch ang thickness. So, kasama na rin dyan ang mga cement board na 1 half, and then cement board na 4.5 mm, and then 3.5 mm. So, nandyan ang mga presyo, 750 ang 3 fourth na ordinary plywood and then 510 250 at saka 210 so makikita nyo dyan uh, nilagay ko at least meron kang 100 sheets per size ng mga plywood and then meron tayong cement board na 1 half uh, at least 20 lang yung nilagay ko dahil slow moving yan yung uh, cement board na 1 half and then, meron tayong cement board na 4.5, at least 50 sheets. And then, 50 sheets din yung 3.5. So, total na mga plywood at saka cement board, total cost dyan is 4, 417,650 pesos. So, that is from the supplier's price. So next ay yung mga PVC pipes. Meron tayong PVC pipe na number 4, 3, 2, 1, 3 fourth at saka 1 half. And then kumpleto rin yan yung mga fittings. So total cost dyan is 80,960. So at least meron kang tag 50 at saka tag 100. No? So 50 lengths na mga PVC pipes. At saka, merong 100 pieces na mga fittings. So, next is yung mga roofing sheets or corrugated sheets. So, merong 12 feet, 10 feet, at saka 8 feet na lengths. At least, meron kang dalawang klase ng thickness, no? So, 0.4 at saka 0.3 mm. So, nilagay ko dyan, at least meron kang tigwa 100 sheets. So, ang total dyan is 171,000. Ang next ay yung mga paints or pintura. So, at least meron kang tegwa one box ng pintura kada color. So, merong four cans per box. So, medyo malaki ang puhunan sa pintura. No? 
So, makikita natin ang total niyan is 129,852. Kasama na dyan yung mga metal primer, paint thinner, lacquer thinner, skim coat, at saka yung mga sanding paper, at saka paint brush. So, masking tape. No? So, next is yung mga common nails, concrete nails, at saka finishing nails, and roofing nails. So, ito yung mga pako. No? So, at least meron kang tagpa 5 boxes, and then tagwa 1 box lang sa mga concrete nails kasi slow moving yan. No? So, total na mga nails is 54,175 pesos. Next ay yung mga double faring, single faring. C parlins which are fast moving itong mga C parlins angle bar flat bar at saka GI pipe so fast moving yung mga double faring at saka C parlins kaya at least meron tayong 100 lengths at saka 50 lengths compared sa mga angle bar at saka GI pipe pwede ka mag stacking ng 10 or 5 no kasi slow moving yang mga yan so, total dyan is 217,145 pesos. So, next is yung mga fast-moving na hardware items. Kagaya ng tie wire, welding rod, volca seal, cutting disc, drill bit, hacksaw blade, tsaka blind rivets. So, dapat marami kang stock ng mga ito. No? So, tie wire, at least you have 10 rolls, and then 5 boxes of welding rod. So, total dyan is nasa 164,465 pesos. So, ngayon dito tayo sa computation ng total ng stocks natin. So, sa cement, plywood, PVC pipe, nails, GI pipes, hardware items, at paints. So, total is 1,449,247. So, kung meron ka pang extra na pang puhunan, I suggest dagdagan mo ng number at least worth 50,000. Mag-stack ka rin ng hollow blocks na 50,000. At saka sand and gravel worth 50,000. And then, kung maaari, magdagdag ka ng mga various items, kagaya ng mga kitchen sink at saka toilet bowls, faucets, Ano, marami pang kulang dyan doon sa lista natin so at least mag budget ka ng mga 300,000 so total lahat kung idagdag mo yan is 1,899,247 pesos in that computation hindi pa included dyan yung mga uh, assets na requirement para sa pag operate mo sa construction supply business Kailangan mo pang mag-invest sa store building at saka trucks and then meron tayong mga permits and licenses na dapat bayaran bago makapagsimula sa construction supply. So, ito ang computation. No? For example, mag-invest ka ng mga 100,000 para sa store building, simple yung structure lang or if you decide, pwede kang umastos ng mahigit pa sa 100,000 and then at least meron kang dalawang trucks no? so at least mga 1.5 million siguro para sa trucks dalawang trucks yan and then permits magbabayad tayo na let us say mga 20,000 siguro so total dyan is 1,620,000 pesos no? so i-add mo yung stocks natin na inventory na 1,899,247 total amount is 3,519,247 itong 3.5 million ay uh, maliit na tindahan pa lang to no na construction supply so ito ay para lang baka start ka no? sa construction supply business Yung ibang mga malalaki na tindahan, maabot na sila ng mga 15 million or 20 million na investments. Thank you for watching my video. So 
tune in to my YouTube channel, Utak Negosyo, for more business tips and business ideas.